So you've been watching Maker videos for a while now and you decided to jump in and give it a go. Congratulations! Maker and woodworking videos are the easiest and most profitable types of videos you can make. As soon as you make a couple, the money will start rolling in. You should be able to quit your day job in just a month or two. Before you begin, you'll need to know the difference between Maker videos and woodworking videos. Basically, Maker videos are just like woodworking videos, but with more computers and Legos. To be a maker, you'll need to look the part. Nobody will take you seriously, and you won't stand out until you look like everyone else. And that starts with a beard. The bigger, the bushier, the better. Cover up your head with a dad cap to further conceal your face. Next, put on a pair of cargo pants or simply a pair of dad shorts. You'll need lots of bulky pockets for your EDC. EDC, or everyday carry, is all the stuff you would carry in a purse, but packing your pockets is manlier. You'll need an assortment of knives, pliers, wrenches, scissors, bullets, anything else that you can show off to other makers when you compare the sizes of your EDCs. Finally, to complete your uniform, you'll need a dad shirt. These are t-shirts that show off your inner man-child. A word of caution, this tip only applies to married men and men who want to remain single. Knowing what projects to make is a very personal decision. Make anything in the world that speaks to you. And what speaks to you are coffee tables. Lots of coffee tables. There's no end to the number of coffee tables you can make. Consider making a coffee table every week on your channel. I mean, think about it. People love coffee, so it's only natural that they want to watch you make coffee tables. The fun part is choosing the materials for your project. You can use anything from wood to concrete to steel. And by wood, concrete, and steel, what I really mean is epoxy resin. Just make everything with resin, lots of resin, gallons and gallons of the stuff. But no matter what you do, just be sure to call every project mid-century modern. Have no idea how to build anything or shoot video? No problem! Just tell your viewers that you want them to follow you on your journey. That makes you their leader. Begin every video by saying, what's up guys? And then describe the project that you're going to make. Instead of just getting to the project, tell viewers, if you'd like to see me build the project, stick around. Shooting the actual building of your project is a piece of cake. Just set up a camera and record your hands doing stuff. One long shot is fine. You'll just speed everything up in post. When you're building your project, throw things around. After cutting a board, toss it on the workbench. If you're showing a hand tool or hardware, toss it down too. If you want to elevate your filmmaking, there are a couple techniques that'll make your videos stand out. Try using a shallow depth of field in at least half of your shots. Another technique is to let the camera ride on the board that you're cutting. Viewers are always concerned with your own assessment of your skills, so be sure to wrap up your video by telling viewers that you're really happy with the way the project turned out and that it was a fun build. But the single most important thing you need in every video, I repeat, the most important thing is to tell viewers to smash that like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe. Keep in mind, the number of subscribers you have is the most important metric for judging not just the success of your channel, but your own self-worth. It doesn't matter if only a fraction of those subscribers actually watch your videos or not, you got every single one of those people to click a button once. And that's an amazing accomplishment. It's important to make your videos over 10 minutes long so you can include an AdSense ad in the middle of your video. A video that's 10 minutes and one second long will make you twice as rich as a nine minute and 59 second video. It's basic math. One way you can pad out your video is to include bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> yep, everybody just loves bloopers. There's nothing funnier than watching you do this. This week on Woodwork. <laughs> from here, we're gonna. <laughs> Did you guys get that? Don't cut that out. <laughs> oh, wait, I've composed myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> this boot. Branding is huge. Make sure you put your logo on everything. If you don't have a logo, get one professionally designed. As long as it has a saw blade, you're good to go. You want every thumbnail to have a consistent look. This helps establish brand awareness and makes it easier for subscribers to identify your videos at an almost subconscious level. 
so that they could scroll past them. YouTube best practices recommend that you include three exclamation points in your title and on the thumbnail. It reassures skeptical viewers that this video will indeed be quite exciting. But the most important thing to include in the thumbnail is you making an exaggerated open mouth expression. People will click just to find out what caused you to capture this amazing moment in your life and why it caused you to scream. If you follow these simple steps, your first AdSense check should be somewhere around $10,000. At this point, you'll wanna quit your day job and move into a brand new workshop. Just make sure it's big enough for all the tools that brands are gonna start to send you and that you'll soon be promoting. Eventually, every viewer will be your product that you can sell to advertisers such as Raid, Shadow Legends, and Squarespace.